everyone, welcome to Pipes, Tobacco, and Whiskey. So today we've got for you a Sutliff blend uh, that Colton found for us. Yes. This is Sutliff's Match Revelation. Mm -hmm. So it is blended by the Sutliff Company. It is an American English blend. Uh, it's got Burley, Kentucky, Latakia, Perique, and Virginia's in it. It also has uh, a fruit topping and a citrus topping yep. with it. Uh, it is a coarse cut comes in bulk we got this from smokingpipes.com uh, the strength of this is about a moderate the uh, flavoring is pretty mild although i i think it's probably a little stronger than that mm -hmm. um, the taste is moderate and we will start getting into this one uh, this was actually uh, blended to match the house of windsor revelation blend mm. and uh, supposedly the original was one of Albert Einstein's favorite. That's blend. why I picked it. Favorite obviously. blends. Oh yeah. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, well, it didn't make you any smarter. So it, it, that was not the reason why he was so smart. Okay. Um, so anyway, uh, let's go ahead and talk about this one. Let's get into this. What do you guys think about the tin note on this well, one? Tin note right off the bat. I'd actually like to smell it out of the, uh, the jar actually, just because it's that's been sitting for a little bit, but. You know, I get the sweetness. Um, it's it's a lot sweeter smelling than I think. You know, I, I got this one because I, it just had so much going on. Whenever I was reading it, all the descriptions and everything like that, there's just a lot of stuff in it. And you know, it had this, it had that, and I just really wanted to try something a little bit different. And but I get more sweetness, like I would say, almost a dried fruit kind of thing, maybe. Yeah. For the sweetness, that mm -hmm. but that's primarily what I get. I get a little bit of the Burleys as well, not very much of the Virginias. That one you get almost nothing. Yeah, yeah. This is this smells like a wooden bowl. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what are you getting? Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is going to be one of those episodes. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, there, the topping is predominant on this for yeah. sure. Um, very little tobacco scent in this one. I get a little bit of the burley, little bit of the Virginias. Everything else is pretty subdued. Um, the the topping that I smell the most is kind of like a plum topping mm -hmm. on this uh, also I get a little bit of maybe a rum kind of scent in there as well um, citrus not so much um, but a lot of that plum kind of topping similar to the Vaughn when we did the Vaughn uh, impressions it has the topping similar to that you're saying you get most of the... I just get most of the dark fruit. Yeah, the dark fruit. <clears throat> Not too much of the different tobacco mixtures and everything like that, but a lot of the dark fruit and... Yeah, for as much stuff that's in here, it was, you know. For, first whiff I took, it was kind of funky, but... It's a little bit different. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, like, I'm looking at the cut, like, you know, we called it... What, what, what we call that? A coarse cut. Coarse cut. cut. It's yeah. almost like a cube cut whenever I, whenever I got it. It kind of looks similar to it. I know it's not, but it, there, there, there were hints of that in there whenever I first got it. It was a, It's a weird looking cut. And there's so much different types of tobacco in there. I was expecting a little bit crazier of a ten notes, honestly. Yeah. I don't I don't smell any of the perique in there at all. Mm -hmm. At all. Okay. Well what's your thoughts on the flavors? I like it. Really? It's real good. I actually I didn't really like it. I, I didn't think you'd like this one. It's it's it was I, it was smelled weird when mm -hmm. I first took a whiff and then started lighting it up. I was like, okay, it's not bad. It just kind of I I don't it, it, it's not as complex as I thought it was gonna be. It's just no. pretty it's 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 straightforward, and I, I don't, I don't know. I, you know, I get the peppery notes in there, probably more than anything. Yeah, on the front end, I, I get um, that tart, yeah. tartness with with a little bit uh, of spice and pepper on the mm -hmm. tip of my tongue. Mm -hmm. The sweetness doesn't come as through uh, on the taste as it does on the tin note. I mean, I get a light bit of that grassiness probably from the Virginias, but it's not very strong at all, you know. I feel like I'm tasting more of the burly. Yeah, I'm yeah, getting a little burly in there. Really, that's that's where my mouth is going to, is a lot of the burly. Um, it's interesting because you're tasting a lot of different tobaccos yeah. in that. You're, you're definitely getting the burlies and some Virginias in there. I think the Perique is playing in there with the pepperiness uh, of the taste, uh, along with the Kentuckys that are in there as well. I don't get much of the lot of Kia. No. No. Because, you know, usually when it, whenever, whenever there's a lot of Kia in a blend, usually it kind of... Oh, it jumps. Yeah, it kind of it takes the, 
it takes a little bit more shape. This is not the case in this one. It's just so much different types of tobacco at once. It's, for me, it's a little bit difficult to zone in on what's going on and try to figure out what I like about it. I do like it. I like it. But I, I don't know. I'm get, as I get into it, I'm getting a little more smoky woodiness mm. kind of and earth kind of notes in yeah. it too. Because I'm getting close to the bottom as well. My cane has been pretty fast on this one. And I'm getting a lot more of the... Uh, what do you smoke? A lot of Kia. It's just a regular uh, Missouri Mission corn cob. Huh. I had it a while. Interesting. This is an old one. Mm. I'm smoking out of that uh, that second that you got that you made me. The first one that you made me. The RNA Treasures. Yeah, the RNA Treasures second. I think it's a billiard. <laughs> For three bucks. Three bucks. Can't beat mm-hmm. it. Three bucks. That's what I'm smoking out of a Dublin that I got from RNA Treasures for three bucks. Things are awesome. Yeah, that's, <laughs> I mean, for three dollars, it's a workhorse. You know, it's a workhorse yeah, they're, pipe. They're slowly come, becoming one of my favorite pipes. I mean, there, there's nothing special about them other than the fact that they're solid smokes. Yep. You know, and for three bucks, golly, you can't beat it. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, is that all the flavors you're getting out of it? I'm getting all the flavors, like so many different types of flavors out of it. It's re- like I said, it's really hard to zone in. I just I, I, what's what's coming out most for me is the peppery kind of on the tip of my tongue. It's, yeah, I, I'm just not. I don't know. I can't decide why I enjoy it, but yeah, there's a lot of different stuff going on. It's a little bit better once you wash it down with like a little water or something cold. Mm. Interesting. All right. Well, tell tell me talk to me a little bit about the room note. Um, I smell. Once again, a lot of the dark fruit, more than anything. But mm. I, I'm getting I'm getting a whole lot of the plum right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, that this, it's kind of confusing, you yeah. know. <laughs> it's kind of it really conf- is. confusing because the tin note. I mean the uh, the tin note tells you one thing, the smoke tells you another thing, and then the room note tells you something even different than that. So it's 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 really confusing for me. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get a good nose on it. I mean, it's not a bad room note. It's you know, it's it's tolerable. I would say um, it's definitely just to, a tobacco-ish room note. It smells like tobacco and it's tolerable and it's really quick in and out. It's not a very. It doesn't sit there and stick yeah, around. It, it doesn't linger. It doesn't linger at all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay. I, well, that, that's kind of like the general just consensus. I think it's just hmm on this one. It's, yeah. It's it's it's, it's so just. There's what about the nicotine content? What are you guys feeling on this? I'm not really feeling yeah. anything. It's, it's, it's not too it's bad. It's mild. Pretty mild. It's I pretty wouldn't even say moderate. I wouldn't no. go that far. I think maybe the more you smoke it, the more you get into it, you might find it more, more moderate because mm-hmm. of all the different uh, leaves that are in it. Mm-hmm. But, but right now, I'm not feeling much of yeah. it. Yeah, yes. I'm smoking out of a really small bowl, too. So, I mean, I'm not getting a whole, whole lot of it. Um, you said it was supposed to match... The House of Windsor mm-hmm. blend. How long ago was that a thing? Well, if Albert Einstein smoked it, it was at least back in the forties, hmm. maybe even the thirties and the twenties. So this is an older. The, the, well, the Sutliff part of it is not an old blend, but what it's trying to match over the counter uh, revelation is an old Codger blend. Interesting. Anything else about the uh, about the room note or the nicotine content on this one? No. It's just the moisture level on it is, it, I thought, was it's kind pretty of, good. It's a little damp for my taste. A little bit. It was kind of a pain in the butt to get lit and get going. Yeah. Well, I think part of that is also the size of the, the cut. You know, such that yeah. kind of chunky cut yeah. that you kind of have to work with it a little bit to kind of get it going. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, it burns fairly cool. Um, it, once you get it going, it burns fairly moderate pace. Mm-hmm. Um, it's it's different, though. Something about it just... No two puffs are alike on this. You know, like when I first started, it was really on the spicy side. Yeah. And then that kind of subdued, and, and then the, the yeah. plum kind of yeah, took and over. Now and that you're saying that, I'm getting like that creamy vanilla kind of thing like it's there's so much i'm at the bottom taking it slow i'm starting to get the virginia <laughs> it's I, I don't know what's going on <laughs> um it there's no bite to no. it it's not very harsh um you know there leaves a little dampness in the bottom of the bowl mm-hmm. um it's got an aftertaste that's not unpleasant uh, i don't know what you guys think about it for me it's Mm-mm. it's, it's okay it's you good. know could be an all-day smoke. It could Honestly. be. It's it's it's. 
it's kind of thin on flavor though. Um, it's not just a very enveloping flavor. It doesn't just sit in your mouth and just, you know. But it's easy, it's, it's easy to smoke whenever you, you know, you say that. It's, it's not, there's been some blends that I smoke and it's, it's extremely strong and it's a pain in the butt to draw on and I just feel smoky on, like, in my mouth for the next three it's or four smooth. hours. Yeah, this is very smooth, very easy to smoke, kind of light. It, I, and not in a bad way, but it's like, you remember how, like, as a kid we used to do, like, suicide, uh... Oh yeah, sodas. So yeah, yeah. It, there's just so much stuff in there. You're getting a little bit of flavor of everything. It's yeah. So, it's so weird, you know. And somehow it was sometimes good. And yeah, it's it, there's just a lot going on to this, and I can't pinpoint why I like it, but I do enjoy this. Well, one. I'll tell you what. In, in the price is pretty good. In bulk, it comes to about two dollars and thirty eight cents an ounce. So it's you know it's easy on the pocketbook. That's for yeah. sure. Yeah. You know? All right. Well, what do you think? What are you going to give it? You want me to go first? Do you want to go first? You go first. Because <sighs> I'm not sure yet. Two and a half. Okay. I just cannot decide why I like it, but I know that I enjoy it. It's a smooth smoke. I could smoke it all day. It's not offensive. You're getting a lot of different flavors and a lot of different elements to it, I guess you could say. It's a, pre it's a solid smoke. It's decent tobacco that they're blending it with. I'd give it a two and a half. Um, I don't know who I would recommend this to, like, if you're a... Two and a half out of... Five. So under m the middle, yeah. Okay, it's just meh. It's right at the middle. Yeah, it's just uh, I don't know who I'd recommend this to. You know, do you recommend it to arrow smokers? Do you recommend it to English guys? Do you recommend it to Virginia guys? I don't know. For it being an American English, it does not taste like an English blend mm -hmm. at all to me. It's more of a burly, a flavored burly, than anything else to me. Mm -hmm. it, it tastes like some of the ones that we tried, like the Field and Stream. Mm -hmm. um, there, there was a couple back in November that you and I tried a bunch out at the yeah, Dearly's. Yeah. Uh, and and th this is more to those than it is to, uh, to an English blend. So mm -hmm. that's, um, that's my thoughts. What about you, Ian? What are you giving it? I'll give it a three. Yeah? Yeah. I was leaning towards three and a half at the beginning. And as I, further, as I got further into it, I was going even higher, a little bit toward the four. But I, I agree. I don't know why I like it. It's just kind of a weird mixture, but it's good. It's not, it, like you said, it's not offensive. It's, I, I just can't understand it. <laughs> I get, you know, I think, I think there's a reason it's called Revelation. you got to sit there and think about this one. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's the truth. It's, it's, it's changing all the time. Mm -hmm. um, what I'm tasting now is different than what I tasted 10 minutes ago. What are you going to give it? I don't like the plum casing on it, the okay. plum topping on it at all. It, I don't think it does it justice to the tobaccos. It, it, it's a, actually, for me, it's a little bit of a turn off. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I don't care for that. Um, the tobaccos, I'm sure, are, you know, Sutliff is, is known for having quality tobaccos. Mm -hmm. uh, but for me, this this... The casing on this one just didn't help it. So I'm giving it a two. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I'm giving it a two. It's not one that I even cared to try again. Fair enough. Yeah. Like I I bought this one and I was like, just, I had three or four, maybe even five different types of tobacco in my cart. It was like, if you spend over this much, then you get a free, free, shipping. free shipping or free this or that, whatever the heck it was. It was a while ago. So I just threw it in there just to think, you know, it's a Mod Podge. The price is right mm -hmm. for it, you know, and... It's, it's in their select line of selections for a reason. Mm -hmm. they, if it was a no-seller, people, you know, they wouldn't keep it. So, obviously, there's people out there that like it. But just for me, mm -hmm. it, it's confusing. I, I don't want to have to sit here and think about it that much. <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't, if, first of all, when you look at it and it says it's an English aromatic, mm -hmm. you're like, there's nothing in there that I taste as an English. Hmm. So that part of it already doesn't fit the description. Yeah. And then as you start smoking it, that plum topping gets in the way. Um, it, the, the, the flavors change too many times through the course of the smoke. Hmm. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just not for me. So anyway. All right, well, that averages out to a two and a half. Two yeah. and a half. All right, cool. Weird. Yeah. <laughs> so here we go. There's two, Wait. two and a half, yep. for Sutliff's Revelation Match. Now, there's plenty of Sutliff brands uh, 
blends out there that are awesome that are really yeah. really great yeah. this one just didn't hit the spot with me so i get you anyway cool you guys got anything else you want to add no um other than you know standard stuff thank you guys for uh you know uh like comment subscribe all that stuff we were actually kind of going upwards and Number of subscribers, if I'm not mistaken. We, yeah, 1,000. Yeah, we're almost at 1,000. we got about 60, <coughs> 60 more to go for 1,000. All right, cool deal. So tell your friends, uh, all, all your pipe-smoking friends, let them know about us, all that kind of stuff. Uh, leave comments below. Uh, he reads them, I know, and he replies. I read a few of them here and there. I'm not sure if you do, but, um, yeah, we'd love to talk to you guys. It's all about, you know, just communicating and trying out new stuff and hanging out with pipe smokers. So, yeah, yeah totally cool. All right, guys. Well, I, I kind of a little bummed out that, <laughs> that this one didn't turn. I was uh, really hoping for a good review on this one, but that's okay. You know, every now and then there's, there's going to be those kind. The weather's changing now, too. My tastes are beginning to change a little mm, bit as true. well. And so that might be part of it as well. But anyway, okay. Well, I got... To see you guys again, that's yeah, a great part of it. I haven't I haven't been able to sit down and do an episode with you guys for a while, yeah. so so that's really nice. So thanks for coming. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, thank you all for watching. We really do appreciate all your comments and views. If there's anything we can uh, share with you, please let us know. And don't forget, make all your popping moments count. We do appreciate y'all. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.